we're not in there causing any disruption and yeah. we do wonderful marketing. That's another piece of the Houston Foodie Society. When you were there, we had yeah. great content. We had two cameramen there. We were pu- pulling our phones out and recording things and taking pictures of the food. And they really appreciate that advertising. And yeah. we offer marketing packages as well. I really loved the food there. I've never been to season 52. I pass by it all the time in the gallery area. Mm-hmm. Um, it, the vibe was cool. I loved the, um, sultry darkness of yeah. uh, the place, but I also enjoyed like probably most of all, I would say I enjoyed the uh, conversation that went around the room. I enjoyed the people that were in association at the table. I got to pull out my Rolodex and mm-hmm. get new numbers, make new contacts, follow new people. And so that's always a nice thing when I am meeting people out in the streets and I'm telling them about the podcast it's cool to just say like, here's a flyer, follow me. But it's it, it, it's a better networking experience when you can sit down and break bread and then share ideas and have a good conversation. So I love this idea. Exactly. And I remember at the table, you were talking to different people about different topics, yeah. you know, marriage and yeah. kids and, you know, and it's just awesome to be able to get other people's viewpoints, you know, from different perspectives. So yeah, that was, that was a good thing. We, we actually do... Um, a monthly foodie tour. Okay. And we did it last month and we went to five restaurants and one sweet spot. We also hit a couple of food trucks Mm -hmm. and we just have a group of individuals that come out. Of course, we haven't started charging for this. This is something that we've been doing with our members. Okay. And, um, we experience new restaurants because there's so many places here in Houston. And a lot of times we go to the same places over and over. I've been to the same places. Yeah. So we try to create a menu of places that people would typically not go. But the food is amazing. Yeah. So that's also a part of it. Just people call me all the time like, hey, I'm trying to go to dinner. Where's the good food spot? (laughs) You know, it's like I'm like, oh, my God, what do y'all want to eat? What what type of food? You know, let's narrow this down. So we've got we we're known now to actually know of the good food places that people usually probably just pass right up. They don't even realize that this is a great restaurant you're passing up, but you passed it up to go to something that you've probably already ate because it's safe. Yeah, that's what I've done a million times. I passed up Seasons 52 and went right next door to Steak 48. Yeah. So I noticed that while we were there talking, you guys know the chefs of these restaurants too. You know, Mm -hmm. who's coming and going, you know, like I loved just that whole part of the conversation. It's like, when people ask me, when they come to Houston, they're like, where should I go? And I'll say, come, go here. They, Rob Wright is doing something at Chapman and Kirby. I love the fact that you guys know who the chefs are. Support the chefs. I'll-